Welcome back to the Deep 404, the US response to the attacks on their base in Jordan, Syria, have begun just in the last hour or so. Uh, there have been reportedly at least 85 strikes occurring in targets in Syria and Iraq. Um, even uh, Jordanian F-16s have been involved in the attacks and have been assigned targets. Um, that's an interesting point to come back to. Uh, Jordan bordering Israel. Uh, Jordan, about 50% of its population is Palestinian. Many of those who the origins in Jordan came um, from the, the wars in Palestine with Israel in 1948, 1967. Um, so yeah, these attacks uh, apparently around areas of al Mayadin, al Bukamal, and al Qam crossing near the Iraqi border. Um, again, there are now reports that Iran has placed its military um, and its guard forces on heightened state of alert. They have placed their air defense systems on a heightened state of alert as well, which the New York Times is reporting. Um, so those, those discussions that Joe Biden held yesterday to determine how they would proceed, um, They've obviously made their uh, initial decisions there, and these attacks are now being carried out. Um, the Islamic resistance in Iraq, who claimed responsibility for the attack on the either Tower 22 or Al Tanf base, um, there is still confusion about where this attack actually occurred and who was involved. Um, the Americans are now saying that it was on the Jordan. Danian base inside the Jordan border, uh, Tower 22. Tower 22 holds about 350 American reservists. However, the Jordanians have said right from the start, the attacks didn't occur in Jordan. They occurred in Syria at Al Tanf. Now, Al Tanf is a base which is a um, occupying base. It's an illegal base. The Americans have no legal right to have that base in Syria. And it reportedly houses about 200 special operations forces. Uh, so there is certainly some question as to which base was actually attacked and whether it was special forces who were killed and wounded in the attack. Um, so the Islamic resistance, though, they said uh, earlier this week, on Wednesday or Thursday of this week, that they would suspend their military operations against the US bases um, and prevent further embarrassment for the uh, Iraqi government, so, and, and for the, I imagine, also for the uh, Iranians. Um, Iran has denied that it was involved in the, attack, in the attacks. It has said there are, we are aware that there are militant groups that you have issues and concerns with America, but we are not commanding or directing them on what to do. Um, however, there has also been um, is a, a comment from Hossein Salami, who is the Commander-in-Chief of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, that Tehran would respond to any US strikes. Now, there was an initial um, comment made by the Iranians that any attacks on Iranian soil would be an immediate escalation and would see immediate attack, attacks from Iran. The Americans haven't taken that step, even after a lot of rhetoric about the fact that they blame the Iranians because they believe the Iranians are ultimately behind this, and calls from the likes of Senator Lindsey Graham and others to hit Iran and hit Iran hard. It seems the Americans do not wish to enter into a full conflict with Iran at this stage either, and are limiting their attacks to attacks on areas within Iraq and Syria. Still, this is happening now. We don't know what the success of these attacks are. We don't know if there have been Iranian forces somehow involved and struck. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what the Iranian response to these attacks are um, over the next day or so. Um, as you can see, if you follow the channel, I'm not at home. I'm actually away with my family for a couple of days at the beach. And so I have limited ability to um, do my summary reports. Um, they won't be quite as long over the next couple of days, but I do hope to get a couple more out and so hope to keep you updated on this over the next couple of days. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly.